Welcome back to the Sabo Academy. Today we'll be talking about air springs. Air springs are very important components in modern suspension systems and work in concert with the shock absorber. Air springs are able to provide much more comfort than would be obtained by installing a single shock absorber or simple leaf springs. Above all, in addition to raising comfort levels, they also allow drivers to level the load and therefore enhance safety. Several different air spring types can be used, depending on the specific application, but generally speaking, there are two very simple kinds. This is one of them, a simple rubber item with a hollow interior. And this is another, which has metal parts that are used to attach it to the frame. Here we see the upper and lower parts in more detail. Of course, as already stated, the fastening parts on specific applications may differ because there are different types of chassis. The air spring mountings, which also include the metal parts, are provided of course because the truck needs attachment parts. Above all though, the key concept is that the springs operate using pressurized air and thus require connection to an air pumping system, normally an integral part of the technology of the truck itself. I'm now going to remove the guards which cover the threads and show you the key attachment points in detail. Here we have the pins. These are used to secure the air spring to the frame. The lower section has an equivalent part. Note here the air connectors for this particular application type. The geometry of the metal parts will of course change depending on the type of application. In this specific case, but also more generally, you can see the interiors are hollow. This is because it is the air itself that acts as the suspension, generating the pressure that, in turn, provides the required comfort and damping in synergy with the shock absorber. Now, you might be tempted to think we've forgotten some pieces, but no, relax. This type of application requires no metal parts like the ones seen previously, as the coupling parts are already incorporated in the truck suspension system in its frame. So this type of application does not require the metal attachment parts. With air springs, the critical stage of their construction is the overlapping of the various sheets, as this can result in air bubbles. If we take a close look, we can see that the worker has made some small holes. These ensure, once the part is placed in the oven for vulcanization, the air is able to exit, thus avoiding any imperfections or defects which might weaken the spring structure. Since the springs operate using pressurized air, a sturdy support is obviously needed to ensure the required working pressure. As the close-up shows, a nylon fabric with a special weave and warp is interposed between the sheets. Once again, weave and warp are adjusted carefully depending on the specific type of application. In parts close to the attachment zones, the springs need to be particularly strong, hence the insertion of metal rings to ensure a seal. Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon with our next Sabo Academy video.